Hello, hello, hello Eurovision fans! We're going to analyze another thing today and that is the song from Moldova. Natalia Gordienka has been chosen again to represent Moldova. Uh, last year's song, mm, I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it wouldn't progress to the final. Time, they took it way more seriously. Now, from what I've heard, Russian Filip Kerkorov is also in the production team behind the song, and we all know that when Russians get to it, they give it a lot of production, a lot of this atmospheric, like glamorous vibe. So uh, let's take a look at Natalia's song called Sugar. It's already stirred some uh, fuss in the media and among fans. Uh, it surely has a lot invested into it. But no more words, action! Let's start. A box. Schrodinger's cat. Is she still alive or dead? <laughs> mm. Crazy energy in crazy pink and purple colors. And then suddenly a blue corset. Already very Russian in sound. If you didn't know the country, you would say Russia immediately to this. But after all, she's Natalia, no? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Choreo! Take a look at this. But you know what, it's so maroon, this horn sounding, it's so maroon, I've heard now and I confirm this is not a copy, but this is with some elements of Ukraine's Maru's siren song. You know this bang. <laughs> That's way too much sugar for me. <laughs> Ugh, guys around her are also... They're not stealing the limelight, but they are definitely making it way more pink. If it could be any pinker than that. <laughs> oh, and now she's all covered. Yeah, like in sugary, glamorous, donut looking, oh my god, sweet tooth kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That was not the first time you see, you know, mm, uh, dancers or like people in the music video looking uh, like small and sort of Gulliver <laughs> uh, experience. Mm -hmm. uh, the bridge is so different from everything else. It's a bit unstable for me how the song goes. <laughs> well, okay, this dancing part is, is classic. Classy, okay. Although she's trying too hard to look very young, I do not see that she, she should be. Um, from what I remember, she is in her mid 30s and uh, it shows. I mean, I'm in my mid 30s too, uh, but um, somehow this whole outfit, blue, like night corset, does not look natural on her. It does not. It does not. Um. I don't like the bridge. Uh, whoa! But the video part is awesome! Awesome! Whoever produced it, the, yeah, he did an awesome job and even how it was well thought through. I'm not sure I would want to hear the song many more times, but I surely enjoyed the video, uh, the visuals that I was uh, watching it. Oh wow, like uh, I'm torn, you know, I'm torn between a very cliche, uh, over sugared, um, you know, cutie patootie song, but at the same time, it's uh, even if it has a competitor or something similar to that this Eurovision, this will beat it for sure. Mm. So, will Moldova make it to the final? They're not always lucky with making it all the way to the final, and then especially in the latest few years. 
I don't know. It, I mean, okay, let's say it's not about winning this Eurovision for sure. It's also about having fun, like Germany's song this year. Have you seen that? I don't feel hate. I just feel sorry. I do not see it getting very high uh, in the scores and I don't see it getting many, many votes. Mm -mm. But at the same time, what a delight to eyes. I mean, if you like this kind of sexy, let's uh, do Maruf a number two uh, style, I don't think they can be blamed for plagiarism in legal sense. Uh, I see it uh, probably progressing to the final. I think this is a super cliche song, but it kind of grows on you too. I think this is very radio friendly, very radio friendly, at least in, you know, Russia, Moldova, post-Soviet countries, the Baltics, it is. It will find its share of fans, let's put it this way. I'm not the type of person who usually listens to such songs, but it will find its fans. Yeah. Um, so it will surely find its votes as well, and it will probably make it at least to the final, and from then on we'll see. Uh, it does not have a chance to be in top 10, of course not, uh, in the grand final of Eurovision in Rotterdam, but... Um, bravo to Moldova on pumping it up compared to last year's song and performance, but this year it certainly stands out. You cannot say that it doesn't stand out, it does. Yeah. So let's wish uh, Natalia a lot of success in this Eurovision. Let's wish her to kill it as well in the Eurovision uh, final or semi-final. It's easier to do it, of course, on the video as a production of this ice cream cones and so on. How they will pull it off? We'll see, so it will need a lot of, a lot of, a lot of work, uh, choreo and uh, staging. Good luck, Natalia, uh, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this reaction too. If you have, then give me a like and subscribe, and of course, uh, ring the notification bell. I hope you will be with us for many more videos to come. Bye!